Okay, awesome. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. Um, quick disclaimer before we start this vlog. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a doctor, a lawyer, a uh, constitutional rights activist, uh, professional kind of anything to do with that. This video is not supposed to be for any kind of argument's sake of what is right or wrong or true or not true or whatever, right? I'm here today to help you get into Madeira this Christmas and to let you know what's going on here and what are the new COVID restrictions in Madeira so you can have a great Christmas in Madeira. Stick around, this video is gonna be cool. Masks are now uh, a, a much bigger thing around. We are seeing everybody is wearing masks inside and outside. Uh, of course, here in Madeira, the population are very concerned about this pandemic. And of course, we're all trying to keep everybody safe, not only you guys, but us as well. So everyone's with the mask again, uh, inside and outside. Of course, if you're up in the mountains, if you're in nature, if there's loads of space around you, if you're not around all these people, you can take your mask off. Don't think that you're gonna be here and you're gonna be constantly with a mask and all that stuff. It's really not so bad. And actually in the winter time, it actually keeps your, your face kind of uh, a little bit warm. Another little tip as well, make sure to bring a little bit of cash because these little places that you wanna buy stuff, little coffee shops, little things like that, little Christmas markets as well, which we're gonna get into later, you're gonna wanna bring cash for that stuff. So make sure to have a little bit of cash. Essential services such as supermarkets, shopping centers, uh, any kind of medical stuff, doctors, hospitals, uh, pharmacies, as well as public transport, churches, gas stations or petrol stations. For these essential services, all you need is either a test, an antigen test, which has been done in the last seven days, or proof of vaccination or proof of 90 days recovery uh, from COVID-19. So everyday life, you know, non-luxury essential items. You do not need to have both, uh, both things. Okay. So we're out of the supermarket. We're on a mission now. We're going to go and uh, have our vaccine. All right. So you guys are going to come with us for this uh, awesome uh, experience. Uh, and I believe it's this way. So let's go. Did you think we were actually going to get a vaccination? Today it's a poncha vaccination. section we're now going to prepare the second dose all right uh, but all jokes aside I uh, got some information here for you guys about how you're gonna get into Madeira and exactly you know how the rules are while we're doing that we're making a tangerina poncha because uh, tangerina is the fruit of the season uh, it is coming into Christmas and we're uh, very ready for for Christmas here in Madeira and we're all super excited lights are coming up and all sorts of cool things are happening. So we're gonna be using some oranges and I wanna to speak to you a little bit about getting in to Madeira. So first of all, getting into Madeira, the rules stay the same. You need one of three things. You need now or an antigen test, 
This is all of course according to Visit Madeira's website. So if you are looking for information on this kind of stuff, please only go to the right sources. There's a lot of false information uh, out on the Facebook groups, on WhatsApp groups, on all sorts of groups, uh, all sorts of blogs and, and vlogs. So you want to really look for um, the most credible information and at the moment the most credible information is Visit Madeira uh, as well as sns24.pt.pt all the links are going to be in the description of this video so you need one of three things you need an antigen test what used to be the PCR test is now an antigen test uh, or you need a proof of vaccination or a proof of vaccination or you need to have proof that you have recovered from the virus within 90 days and that's of course medical proof not um, you know a letter written by your son or daughter or father or mother or something <laughs> so yeah that's that's that when you're making poncha if you are making poncha please be careful this is uh, of course much easier with an actual uh, orange press uh, I'm a little bit uh, old school. I like to hand press the uh, the oranges like my grandmother did, but she never made me poncha, unfortunately. Before you're coming into Madeira, you have to register with the Madeira Safe um, app. They call it the app, but it's actually much better to use the website. Apparently, apparently the app is uh, a little bit funny. So you want to go on to maderasafe.com or .pt or whatever it is. It's on, like I said, all the links are in the description. So um, once you get onto the Madeira Safe website, then you can actually upload your proof of vaccination and your test, which has to be done 48 hours before arrival in Madeira. Um, it's super easy and nice little hack is that you can actually from that uh, website and from that app you can actually book your next your next test uh, which you have to do uh, between five and seven days of arrival okay we don't need so much juice because we're already quite drunk <laughs> cut <laughs> all right this is like this is what we call a tangerina in uh, Portuguese, in English, I believe it's called a mandarin. Uh, in South Africa, we call it a nachi, isn't it? <laughs> and Christmas time is uh, tangerina time. Uh, you very often hear the locals with the, the smell. They go, ooh, that smells like Christmas. Whenever you smell the, the tangerinas around. So today we're making a tangerina poncha. And um, I'm not a tangerina expert, to be honest. Usually I make the regional poncha. So this is only actually my second time making a tangerina poncha. Um, but I believe the, the first dose was, was pretty good. <laughs> right, so the government has just brought out a new, uh, some new restrictions for Christmas. These are specifically for Christmas because, of course, we have uh, learned something in the last couple of years. And last year, COVID, kind of you know went a little bit uh, out of control during Christmas time not only here in Madeira but everywhere in the world so we are kind of launching a uh, preemptive strike and of course uh, Europe is going through a little bit of a COVID crisis um, now being winter the government has actually brought out a mass testing initiative so everybody in Madeira has to take a test every week and of course, this obviously, you know, I, I agree with this and many other people agree with this. I think it's a great initiative. Um, if thankfully, Madeira has been uh, fantastic uh, and the Madeiran authorities have been very good at actually controlling this pandemic, which we'll get to later. But um, everybody needs to be tested in a week. So where can you get these tests? First of all, if you're uploading everything to your Madeira safe website and to your app then you can actually already schedule your second test which has to be done between five and seven days after your first so if you get your free test at the airport which you still do get you will get another free test a week later and you can schedule all of this 
through Madeira Safe or Madeira Safe to discover. So if you're gonna be staying here for a week, then you're only gonna need two tests. If you're gonna be staying longer, then you're gonna to have to get tested every seven days. And you can get tested at the tents around town. There are a couple of tents uh, by the cathedral, for instance. There's one in the Lido, there's one, uh, there's a couple around Funchal. They are first come, first serve. So you get there and you wait in line and you get your test. These are antigen tests, so they are rapid. We got tested yesterday and I think we were done within 10 minutes at the pharmacy because we actually booked our tests uh, beforehand. So if you can book your test beforehand, I highly recommend you do so. If not, try and get there as early as possible. So a Tangerina Poncha is um, a little bit different. Of course, we don't want the, the sourness of the lemon. This is not a traditional kind of poncha. I'm gonna get all these like poncha haters on my on my on the comments like, oh, it's traditional poncha is a fisherman poncha. No, everything else is a cocktail. Yeah, oh, I'm not supposed to be opening this, but um, yeah, typically a tangerina poncha is actually made with vodka. But this uh, this actual bottle, I don't know if we can show this to the camera over there, but this bottle um, from the from our friends in Porto de Cruz at the, uh, what is it, Engenhos do Nord uh, company. These guys actually tr produced this, this uh, rum, which is actually made for passion fruit and tangerina ponches. So they were smart enough to actually see that uh, a lot of the bars and things were using vodka for, for a lot of the ponches. So they uh, brought out this one, which is a little bit more traditional and, and I hope I'm right with this, but I'm pretty sure that that was the intention of this bottle. No lemon in this poncha, also no honey in this poncha because I thought that it was only sugar. Um, after tasting the the first um, dose, <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it? The first, uh, what is it in English? The first uh, vaccination, kind of? No worries, we don't have honey. We're gonna be using the tangerina and the sugar. Vaccination is a big thing now here and everybody needs to be vaccinated and I'll get into that in the next point But basically if you if you're vaccinated uh, And you're coming into Madeira you want to have you know the most kind of official uh, Document that you have been vaccinated the Madeira safe QR code is not uh, for the out and about areas it's only to get in to the airport so when you're out and about and you need to show your proof of vaccination you do need an official vaccination it's an if you're coming from the eu then you need the eu COVID pass or whatever it's called uh, if you're coming from the states then you're gonna need the uh you, you know whatever you've got from the states being official for more information on all of this uh, you can go to sns24.pt Again, this is the link in the description of this video. Exceptions to this are if you are under 12 years old and if you're watching this video and interested in poncha, then that's a very bad sign. But um, <laughs> of course, if you have a, a, a medical document, an official medical document that you cannot be uh, vaccinated, then of course, you know, that's fine as well. And then the third thing is that if you've recovered from uh, COVID-19 within the last 90 days and you have an official document showing that, then you'll be okay as well. All right, so of course now there is uh, a vaccination policy. So if you're doing any kind of leisurely activity, unfortunately, you do have to be vaccinated. So if you're going to restaurants, if you're going to bars, clubs, gyms, if you're going to the barber shop, uh, you have to be vaccinated. For the, for the complete list, check out the Visit Madeira website as well. But basically, for all of these leisure activities, you do have to have with you proof of vaccination and the test, all right? There's no like uh, going out about it, you know, just like there's no real poncho without sugar. So the sugar in a poncha is always according to taste and we have uh, just found from the first uh, dose or the first shot that four sugars is enough for uh, three people. Anyway, when it comes to the rum, 
Usually we do one cup of juice and one cup of rum to make two ponches. That's like general rule of thumb. Rule of thumb? Oh. Thumb. <laughs> rule of thumb. Um, obviously, if you're gonna go and uh, have ponches in different places, then there's gonna be different, uh, you know, recipes. Everybody likes to tweak their ponches the way they like to do it. Some people like more lemon, other people like more orange, whatever. Poncho is awesome. Don't buy bottled poncho. So we're gonna do this by eye, and uh, which brings me to the next point, uh, which is basically, um, you know, when it comes to the pandemic and to COVID, is that we want to do things according to you know common sense. So I see way too many people at viewpoints. You know, when we ask with our clients and stuff that are sticking together and taking photos and feels like there's someone right here on my shoulder kind of taking a photo and like I'm like oh, you know doesn't mean that it's crazy busy of course if you know hit the road you know we love to run away from all of that kind of stuff and we do so if you are looking for tours in Madeira check it out it's in the description but um, yeah so if you're out and about and you see that you're in a group of people put your mask on try and keep your distance that's all it is right of course you're coming to our country if we were going there, then we'd try and do the same kind of thing for you guys. So try and keep your mask on when you're around lots of people and try and keep your distance. Now, there's not going to be like COVID police in every corner that are going to be like, you don't have a mask and you're not in the scene. So it's up to you guys. It's up to all of us to keep ourselves safe and to keep ourselves uh, kind of, you know, without COVID. So please do that. Uh, yeah, and now we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna mix the poncho. Uh, yeah, this is... Do you guys know what this is called? If you guys know what this is called, then please uh, comment in the description what the name of this uh, famous uh, apparatus uh, <laughs> or instrument is called. Uh, please do that. And uh, that brings me on to the next point. I wanted to speak a little bit about how Madeira has been doing throughout this pandemic and how we've been handling the pandemic uh, and our tourists uh, as well as our locals. All right, so today it's uh, Saturday the 20-somethings of November. Is it the 20s? No, today is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> today is Friday. Black Friday. Today is Black Friday. So yeah, if you guys uh, took advantage of our Black Friday sale, well done. Today is the 26th, it's Black Friday and loads of you got awesome discounts and hit the road at 50% off. If you're watching this and it's Monday, I'm sorry guys, it's over, you can't get it, you're gonna have to pay full price. Speaking of that, I wanted to get into the stats in Madeira. The stats, uh, at the moment, we've got 619 active cases in Madeira of COVID-19. Um, with a population of 250 something thousand. Fun fact, I believe that the population of Madeira has actually never been, uh, or, or it's actually a lot smaller, right? It's a lot smaller than it used to be. 10 years ago, we, we lost some people, probably through immigration and things like that. But anyway, that's a whole other story. So 619 uh, active cases of COVID-19 in Madeira at the moment, so very little. Uh, we've got, up until now, from the beginning of the pandemic, 95 deaths uh, in total in Madeira. And of course, you know, uh, none of us like to speak about death or anything like that. And my sincerest condolences to everybody who has, um, you know, lost a loved one or gone through anything like that. You know, very often we forget about these kinds of things. But of course, you know, this is a pandemic and um, this is serious business. So uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to all of you uh, who have uh, suffered through this because even, um, you know, I know a lot of people who have. So okay, ching ching. Ching ching, guys. Ching ching. Uh, I hope it's good. Yeah, I really hope it's good. Ooh, nice. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> what? We need That's subtitles. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Okay, let's carry on after that bombshell. <laughs> Madeira has been and will continue to be a safe destination, right? This year, in 2021, we've had an absolutely fantastic year, thankfully. 
in August, we had our best year yet, all right? And this is, uh, of, of course, for most of us, um, I can't say for everybody, but for most of us, we had our best year yet and it was great because we really needed to recover. And I wanna say a big thank you to all of you guys who booked tours with us, who supported us, uh, you guys know who it is and everybody who came out to Madeira and you know supported tourism in Madeira. We're an island, we need tourism. This is our, one of our biggest industries and without tourism, you know, we're in trouble here. So uh, our, we all really appreciate everything and we will always appreciate tourism and we will always appreciate our visitors. With all of this said, there is one of the, one of the things that bothers me the most about this whole pandemic is all of the conflict that it generates because people are saying things and other people are saying things and things are in and out of context and then it looks as if people don't care and people there's a lot of hate and a lot of fear and a lot of all that stuff going around and this is the thing that we need to really really crack down on doesn't help if we're all wearing masks and being vaccinated and social distancing and doing all these kinds of things if we start treating each other like crap so yeah you know be nice to each other uh you know let's let's all treat each other nice christmas is gonna be absolutely fantastic there's some great stuff coming here at hit the road we've got great new vlogs coming out we're going to be focusing on christmas throughout the whole of december we're going to be talking about traditions we're going to be talking about the lights we're going to be talking about all the festivities so uh the food there's gonna be loads of food coming out for you guys as well so uh, all you need to do is like and subscribe to the channel if you're coming out here and you want to go out and see the sights and things i recommend you book right now because uh, we're already filling up there are people coming to madeira big thank you to apartment primavera here in the city center if you guys are looking for a place to stay that's quiet in the city center check out apartments primavera uh, on airbnb the links are in the description below i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful for you guys i don't usually like doing these kinds of covid videos but anyway i want to help you guys get into madeira so i hope i i hope i did just that um stick around things are going to get real cool like and subscribe we've got great videos planned not only for the rest of this year but for 2022, really, really, really cool stuff coming. So uh, on, that, uh, on that note, uh, Andre. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Oh.